Hi, welcome to SFG Cards and Craft. Today I'd like to show you how I did this card uh, using a stencil that I made myself uh, from a die set called by Impression Obsession. Now the die set, I don't see a name on it, although that could be underneath the uh, magnet that I've stuck on, uh, but the number is DIE359-R. Uh, it's a fairly old one, I don't even know if it's still available, but I've had it for a number of years now. Uh, so I just randomly taking a piece of acetate and just randomly cutting these the balloon dies over the acetate. I think I only used that largest one about three times over the whole piece. Um, if you wanted to get it a bit more random at the end, you could probably make this instead of just a piece like I've got there, which is probably about seven or eight inches wide. You could probably make it about twelve or even longer inches wide, or even make two of them so that purely random from one to the next. So the way I've done it here, it, it does sort of, if you look at it closely, you can actually tell that it is only one um, stencil that's been just moved uh, and placed in a different place. But I could have flipped it over and used the other side, but you do tend to have like little daggy bits, like for want of a better word, on the, on the back side of these uh, die cuts where it sort of presses into it. Uh, and I did get a couple of cracks when I was cutting it, but I just stuck those up with some sticky tape and that's fixed that problem temporarily anyway. I just, just put a border around it using a, um, a washi tape. Uh, now the colours that I'm using, uh, the greens, uh, first of all the greens, Twisted Citron is this light colour and then I come in and do a little bit of shading on my left hand side or the right of the screen with Lucky Clover. Uh, when I come in to do the blue, which after I've moved the stencil I do the blue, which is Tumble Glass and Salty Ocean. Um, that's the the two different colours that I use on this particular card and then I, I do a second card later on. Uh, now these brushes that I'm using, um, I could not see myself paying out around $20 for one brush. Okay, I think it's a double-ended brush but $20 for one brush to me is outrageous price to pay if you can even find them here in Australia. So I've actually got, just gone to a, a local one of those cheap shops that sells that stuff that's really cheap probably nothing more than five dollars not day so but one of the other shops that we've got here in, in, in our, our area here and these are actually brushes that I think are meant for children for gluing and painting and things that are that I've got three of them in a set and each set was around five dollars so I ended up buying three sets and I got three sets nine brushes for less than twenty dollars less than the cost of one of the other brushes um, okay they'll probably wear out quicker and all that but they're cheap enough you can just throw them away when they have worn out but uh, this is all I'm using is just uh, I th I, it's just like a china bristle type bristle on it nothing fancy they're not real smooth and all that but it does the job I'm, I'm quite pleased with it it comes out nice and smooth on the end result okay and there's the other two that I'm using uh, which is as I said tumble glass and I think it was salty ocean uh, could have been broken china I, I really don't remember but you could choose any colors just a light and a dark of each uh, color just to, to get different shades uh, I think it really does look best if you do put a bit of shading on it you don't have to put a lot but just a little bit if you just left it it would just look too flat I think if you didn't put the shading on um, but look I'll just leave you with this for a, a few moments and I'll put a tune on one of my son's uh, tunes he, he he's uh, 17 and he plays all the music himself he does all the instruments uh, so I'll put that on for you and uh, we'll take a listen just for a few moments thanks I'll be back soon
Well, I'm back again. Um, I hope that wasn't too heavy for you. Um, I really like the, uh, the the metal music. I, I like Metallica and a few other bands sort of that, that do that sort of stuff. I don't like the screamo type music, but anyway. Um, so what, what I'm doing here is uh, just the second card. Uh, now I don't know if I actually mentioned earlier uh, the pens that I actually use to put the like the little balloon tie and tail on. That's just a Stedler. It's called a Tri Plus Fine Liner. Uh, well, here's the pens coming out now. Um, I've actually got about Oh, probably about a third of the set and I've got about a, d a ten or a dozen maybe different coloured pens. I started off originally with just two shades of grey and I've actually started buying a few colours. I don't have all the colours obviously, there's still probably, I don't know, maybe 20 or 30 colours to get, I, I'm not really sure how many there are. Um, I just wish that I actually had lighter colour orange and lighter colour blue because I think it stands out a little bit too much. I wanted it to be more pastel but I haven't got those and I've used the, what I had and now it's too late. Uh, you'll notice that I have actually forgotten to put the tail on the large balloon in the middle there but I have since done that after the photos were taken. That was on both of the cards, the same balloon for some unknown reason. Uh, now also on, on the end card there you'll see that I have actually put a sentiment. Um, the sentiments that I put on was uh, using stamp sets. Uh, one that It's Your Birthday was from Lawn Fawn Year One stamp set and the other one Have a Wonderful Day was from the Avery L floral bouquet that's a new stamp set for me um, I've also done envelopes to match uh, one of these cards will be going to my niece later in the week I'll be posting it probably tomorrow morning uh, so I hope she enjoys it and I hope you enjoyed this um, video if you did please tick the like box and uh, if you haven't subscribed then please do subscribe um, the, I actually do try to do stuff that's different to everyone else um, I, I'm pretty sure that most of my stuff is sort of quite different to everyone else's that they've put out. Uh, so, um, as I said, if you do like, please subscribe and, and click that like box. And I'll be back before too long with another video. Thank you. Bye-bye.